Joyce Smart is a new like paradigm in service engagement between our customers and us. It, at its core is the commitment to deliver value to their customers and it's, it's three parts. It is our direct services, it is our smart connected products, and it's our analytics. Three components are key because information by itself isn't useful and can be acted upon. It. So if you just have it straight up analytics and you have these reports and data coming off the machine, you can create reports, but unless you can get it to the person's in the right hands and they can't do anything about it, it's pretty useless. So having initial engagement with our customers, having that direct services, having that close the loop feedback loop with our customers, and having a very close engagement with them allows any information that I capture with analytics to get to the right person's hands so they can make action on it as fast as possible. One example of Joy Smart is in a long walk location in Illinois. We utilize the Joy Smart solutions to increase the availability of a system that often gets overlooked, the conveyor system. Well, initially during the commissioning of the conveyor system, I used benchmark recordings, and what I mean by benchmark recordings is the startup sequences, stopping, shutting down, runtime, understand the key deliverables, what paints a clean picture, a normal operation of a conveyor. And I took those recordings and worked with the on-site personnel to fine-tune starting, stopping, shutdown sequences, along with load sharing between all the BFDs of the system. And then the customer was had a better insight of knowing the configurations and customization to meet their production goals. And then during that time period, I used those benchmark recordings to create an anomaly or like algorithms to detect anomalies, which will track the normal behavior and find if there's any issues with the conveyor. And within that first week of the long wall actually starting up, I noticed uh, excessive vibration on one of those uh, gearboxes, which was detected by those, those algorithms. And then I called the local field service rep, which is part of our direct service component, to go to the mine, take a look at the gearbox, handheld vibration equipment, and confirm what I had seen on the computer. And then through those recordings, we were able to determine that a corrective action could be happened on the next scheduled maintenance period, which was a big positive for the mine because they didn't have any unexpected downtime. And if this algorithm wouldn't have been there, it could have caused a failure of four transmission at a cost of about $2 million. What really sets us apart is the fact that we actually have the, the knowledge of the machine and equipment to confirm that the models that we have created actually represent the technical requirements of our, of our machines. And I have a direct line to all the engineers, surface and underground, to confirm my data. And I actually was a design engineer for eight years designing and developing these machines in the R&D department. So using the engineering-based principles along with physics-based models, along with statistics, we can actually go beyond what uh, other, app, other competitors can do.